Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we'll discuss cell membrane, plasma lemma, plasma membrane, cell membranes, or biomembranes. Note down, this is a common topic for all competitive exams and BSc students. In today's lecture, we are discussing cell membrane, its models, cell membrane. Its discovery credit goes to Shevan in 1838. Dear students, cell membrane that was discovered by Shevan 1838. While this term cell membrane and this term cell membrane that was given by Nagli and Kramer in 1855. While this term plasma lemma, plasma membrane, this term plasma lemma it was given by Another scientist, Plow, in 1931. Note down, cell membrane. Its discovery credit goes to Shevan, 1838. While the term cell membrane that was coined by Nagli and Kramer in 1855. While this term plasma lemma means the lemma, the sheath, the covering over cytoplasm, cell cytoplasm, the membrane, the covering is. That term plasma lemma, it was given by Plow in 1931. Note down, in today's lecture, we will also discuss cell membranes or biomembranes. As in case of eukaryotic cells, like plant cell, animal cells, some cell organelles, like mitochondria, like nucleus, Plastids, chloroplast, Golgi body, lysosome, vacuoles. These cell organelles also covered by membranes. It means these internal membranes which cover the cell organelles as well as this outer covering, this cell membrane. All these membranes, external and internal cell organelles membrane collectively constitute cell membranes or biomembranes. Note down, in today's lecture, we are clearing cell membranes. Means this outer membrane over the cell surface as well as the other membranes which cover some cell organelles like mitochondria, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, vacuoles, lysosomes, nucleus. All these membranes collectively constitute biomembranes. And no doubt, another important question for competitive exams. The membrane which surrounds the cell vacuoles, that membrane which covers the cell vacuole is named tonoplast. All these membranes, all these cell membranes, biomembranes, not on competitive exam students, these cell membranes, biomembranes are selectively, these are differentially permeable for solute substances. But the cell membrane is semi permeable for solvent, for water. This is the model of a cell membrane. And this model, it is sandwich model. It is lamellar model and first lamellar model or first sandwich model that was given by Daniel and Davison in 1935. It means this model of cell membrane, it is sandwich model. It is lamellar model and this first lamellar model of cell membrane that was given by Daniel and Davison in 1935. According to this, Lamellar model. According to this Daniel Davison model, each cell membrane, each biomembrane that is made up of four layers. Middle, middle part consists of two, means this middle part consists of a phospholipid bilayer. And on these outer and inner surface, two protein layers. Outer layer having protein molecules layer and this inner part also possesses a protein layer. 
इट मीन्स इन ए सेल मेम्ब्रेन फोर लेयर्स टू सेंट्रल मिडल पार्ट हैविंग फॉस्पोलिपिड लेयर्स एंड इन आउटर रीजन ए प्रोटीन लेयर एंड इन दिस इनर रीजन अनदर प्रोटीन लेयर मीन्स टू प्रोटीन लेयर्स वन ऑन आउटर सर्फेस एंड अनदर ऑन इनर सर्फेस वाइल टू फॉस्पोलिपिड लेयर्स आर प्रेजेंट इन मिडल पार्ट हियर नो डाउन ऑल दीज प्रोटीन्स विच आर प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस आउटर और इनर सर्फेस these protein molecules are globular proteins not down each and every point for competitive exams these proteins which cover the outer and inner surface these proteins are globular means these are alpha proteins and these protein layers protein layers are dense layers while these middle central phospholipid bilayers are light layers it means this protein layer is p or it is d for dense layer this protein layer again it is p or it is d layer dense layer and in this middle part this phospholipid middle bilayer is it is light layer so it is represented as ll means this entire structure of this cell membrane outer surface is made up of proteins p or these are dense protein molecules so d p l l p or it is d l l d d for dense protein layers are dense and these phospholipid bilayers are light the proteins which are present on outer and inner surface these are globular proteins these are alpha proteins while these phospholipid molecules these phospholipid molecules are amphiotic or amphipathic in nature means each phospholipid molecule having both groups this head is it is polar it is made up of glycerol molecule and it is hydrophilic it is water lover while this tail and this tail having one two fatty acid it means each phospholipid molecule having a head which is made up of glycerol and the glycerol is polar it is hydrophilic but these fatty acid tails which are two in number each phospholipid molecule having two fatty acid long chains and these fatty acid chains are hydrophobic these are non polar it means each phospholipid molecule having both groups polar and non polar polar group is head and non polar tail so it is hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail the hydrophilic the head which project towards outer region but these phospholipid tails the hydrophobic tails are present which face in the middle region so each phospholipid molecule having both groups polar and non polar hydrophilic and hydrophobic so these are amphipathic this is another model of cell membrane and this model it was given by david robertson in 1959 according to this unit membrane model which was given by david robertson Robertson in 1959 all cell membranes whether cell organelle membranes or this outer membrane plasma lemma all these cell membranes are similar in structure and these cell membranes which are similar in structure are made up of three layers he stated that each cell membrane is trilaminar three layered or it is tripartite this outer layer it is protein layer but not down here in case of danieli davison these protein molecules are globular these are alpha proteins but in this robertson model unit membrane model the protein molecules 
and these proteins are extended proteins which are fibrous in nature here the proteins are globular in nature these are alpha proteins but in this unit memory in this robertson model these protein molecules are extended fibrous these are beta proteins here the extended proteins p or dense layer this middle phospholipid bilayer and this inner layer extended protein layer again dense layer it means this d l d this is unit membrane model according to this unit membrane model all cell membranes are unit membrane or multiple of unit membranes and here this middle phospholipid layer is this layer is being sandwiched between outer and inner electron dense protein molecules this is all about cell membrane plasma membrane cell membranes all these membranes whether cell organelles and plasma membrane collectively constitute bio membranes and these are selectively permeable these are differentially permeable for solute molecules but for water for solvent it is semi permeable but this model the major problem of this model robertson unit membrane model this model fails to explain the functional properties of cell membrane it doesn't explain the active transport the permeability of the movement of substances across the cell membrane it means this model this model unit membrane model functionally it doesn't explain its dynamic nature of cell membrane dear students in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss another model and that is fluid mosaic model